Hey you guys, welcome to Tula's Tech Talk. We are anchored in this beautiful little lagoon all by ourselves on the Corsair 880 Trimaran. And in today's video, real quick, we're going to do an unboxing and install of this Navilite dinghy complete portable nav light kit. So I believe it comes with two lights, a bow light and a stern light, and a few different mounting options. So we're just gonna open it up, see what's in the box. One of our biggest pains in cruising is actually dinghy lights because we've used other brands in the past and they'll last a few months, but sure enough, they inevitably break and they're not that good. So I'm hoping that we, these lights work a lot better. Um, and we always test products before we ever promote anything so um, just to be perfectly transparent with you guys we got these lights from catamaran supply one of our affiliate partners and and sponsors and they're not sponsoring this video they don't know we're making this video at all but if you do click on the link in the description um, and you order these lights from them we will get a small commission now with that being said we would never promote anything we don't believe in this is our test we're gonna unbox it, set it up on the dinghy, and test it for a few weeks before we promote it on our main channel as a kind of a sponsored video. So that is if it works well. Like I said, no pressure here. We're just gonna unbox it, see what's in the box and everything. So this is the first thing I pulled out of the box. Looks like just a sticker, maybe like double side 3M back uh, mount. And this is like, Looks like a little uh, locking mount there. Okay. Next up in the box is. Let's see. Put this there. Oh, can I have that, please? All right, we got another little puck thing here. Another little puck thing that I dropped. So it looks like same sort of universal mounting system here. Looks like you can lock it one way and then unlock it the other way. Lock, unlock. All right, and this looks like a mount where you would put on a like bulk, like a vertical surface, and it goes in with a couple screws. Looks like, and this sucker. I'm glad that these are all like here's here's another one, same thing, universal mount. Um, it looks like this also goes in with hardware, but on a horizontal surface like that. So it looks like we got some options here. Those are our three mounts there. I like that none of these are suction cup mounts because some companies have those. They work okay at best sometimes, but we never have great success. If we use them, we're always nervous that the light is going to fall off the dinghy. All right, here is what else is in that box. Nice little carrying case here. All right. All right, so this looks like a light. There we go. A little puck style light, which is pretty cool. Probably gotta put some batteries in there. All right, and then on a little pivoting thing there and it looks like that's exactly what clicks into let's see a mount for example unlock position click it in lock it and that feels really sturdy Something like that and this is this type of uh locking mechanism is pretty stiff no vibration is going to be able to wiggle that to the unlock position. What else is in this kit is the stern light already mounted on an ex on a pole here. So we have a pole just like that. I think it's like ABS plastic, some sort of hard plastic, pretty solid stuff. Um, and it can pivot as well. And it comes with, so you can see on that end, there's no universal thing that that plugs into the bases, but it is on this one here. All right, so we could just screw these together. Simple little thread there. Screw them together. 
going nice and then could plug it into a base here and lock it in place and if we want to make it longer so that's about how long that is it comes with a couple more extension pieces so we can unscrew that bottom one from the top and these are actually two separate extension pieces we could take these off if we wanted to and just add one or we can add both and then we add that to the light and then we add the base as well always need that one on the bottom so so that's like we can see that probably three feet or a little bit taller it's pretty nice I think we got to put some batteries in here all right just unscrew the top. Yeah, that's what it looks like so far. Nice O-ring as a seal. It looks like it takes a couple, three AAA batteries, not double A. So it looks like this little thing, little thing like slides over and unlocks from there. And then you put it right back on and you have to slide it and that actually locks the batteries in place. Oh, like this, and slide, locked. All right, so three AAA batteries here. And then we put our battery locker in place. Okay. Line up the arrows, and it's not working. Oh, there we go. You just gotta hold it. Oh, interesting. Oh, you gotta hold it for like two or three seconds. One minute should it be two, almost two seconds. Nice. So it's all LED. It looks like nice and bright. You can tighten that. Oh, and this is like a GoPro mount. So if you wanted to probably use GoPro mounts or at least have the ability to, you could. That's pretty cool. We have some different modes here. So it looks like one is the all around white, one is just a flashing white, the other is a masthead light, so like it just lights up half the light facing one direction, and then the other is a stern light, and then you have this one which is just a dim cabin light, so just, I guess it just saves batteries, it's just lighting up some of the LEDs, not all of them. Alright, so here's the other one, the tricolor light, so you can turn it on, now we have tricolor, bow, stern. Uh, yeah, port starboard and then stern light. And then you click it again. We got just the stern light. Click it again. Just the bow lights. Click it again. Port. Click it again. Starboard. So maybe, I don't know, maybe you have two of these, one on each side or something like that, or you just have it as a backup. And then off. Cool, so a few more things about these lights. It says US Coast Guard 2 nautical miles. Uh, the kit says these lights are good for boats up to 12 meters in compliance with Col Reg 72. They're submersible to 66 feet, which is pretty cool. Corrosion resistant, and you can use the GoPro or action camera mounting system as well. Don't they float? I don't know if they float. I thought they floated, but I don't see it says float anywhere on here so let's test it guys see if they're waterproof somehow oh yeah floats perfect they should put that on the box. So I'm pretty excited about these lights. They're a little sleeker. They seem a little more durable. Um, they seem just a little more promising than other dingy nav lights we've used in the past. So, and I really like the mounting system as well. So hopefully it holds up. Um, we're gonna mount them now in the dinghy and then we'll test them for the next few weeks. But let's, uh, let's mount them here first. All right guys, we don't have a lot of the stuff that we're supposed to have to install this. We only have a pen. But what they want you to do is trace this out um, and then mask off that area, sand it really, really good, clean it good, peel and stick and hold it on there. 
uh, really nicely. We don't have a pen, we don't have sandpaper, so and we don't have masking tape. So I'm just going to try to etch a little line around there and then sand it with a scotch Brite pad. It's kind of abrasive. So we'll see if we get a little sanding power in there and then we'll clean it really good and stick it and we'll see how long that lasts. Um, but this thing is curved in one direction. It's curved like that and not like that. So definitely wants to mount on whatever kind of tube you have like this way versus that way or that way or something. Yeah, that's not gonna work. So we'll move it just off to the side so it's nice and nice and even against the tube like that. That looks pretty good. It doesn't really matter that it's not directly on center. Just gonna try to etch into this uh, without popping it. That would suck. Yeah. Ah, you kind of see that line. Can you guys see it? I can kind of see it. Braid it as best I can inside that area. I don't know if this is sanding it, but hopefully it's doing something. Let's clean it real good with denatured alcohol. The directions do say make sure you know what your dinghy is PVC or Hypalon so you know what kind of cleaning chemical to use. But yeah, definitely abraded. That part, that'll work. Really, really good there. Alright, here we go. Oops. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Just stick that down super, super good there. Now the directions say it's not fully cured for 72 hours. All right, and then let's just light this up so we know. Yep, there we go. We'll put, since we have both, we'll put on just the bow light and then we can make sure it's facing directly forward, which is there. Perfect. And then we can lock it in place. There we go. We have our dinghy nav light. All right, you guys, so everything came with hardware and you're supposed to use hardware to mount this or this. Um, this is gonna be for our stern light. We have a screwdriver for the hardware, but we don't have a drill or any drill bits to drill a pilot hole through the aluminum transom. So, trying to figure out what to do. I think what we're gonna do is just use, we have like one of these GoPro uh, double-sided tapes just for like GoPro mounts, and it's not a perfect fit on the back of this, but I think it'll do. I think we'll just use 3M tape on the back of this, mount it on the inside of the transom back there, and uh, and that'll hold it for now until we can get um, a drill and, and drill a pilot hole and use the hardware that you're supposed to use. So it's not like we're planning off in this thing. We're kind of just going pretty slow, so I don't think it's going to be a big deal if we do it that way. So I'm just going to clean this off real good. We might have more of that 3M tape. Unpeel this sucker here. Stick that on super good. And then we'll do the same thing on the transom of the boat. So let's go back there. So I'm going to mount it right in this corner down here. If I was using the hardware, I'd mount it a little bit higher so we're not below the waterline. I'd mount it like right here or something. Um, but I think we'll mount it right down this corner. We'll have a little bit of support down there. And then, uh, yeah, could even maybe lash a little piece of line to this eye here if we wanted really a lot of additional support. But I think this will be good. So I already cleaned that surface there. Perfect. Yeah, so this is the maximum length. We want our stern light, just plug it in there, lock it in place, 
and we got our stern like nice and high up there. All right, I hope you guys like that unboxing. We'll be testing this stuff out for the next couple weeks, see how we like it. And uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below or if you think I missed anything that you'd like to know about this Navi, Navi Lite, Navi Safe kit. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in anything like this, the link will be right in the description. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time.